called for a moratorium on oil and gas exploration in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Ethan Hawk has owned property in Nova Scotia's Antigonish County for many years, and today he was invited by a local First Nation to join their environmental cause. He has been speaking today with CTV's Dan McIntosh. <laughs> It was a whole new role for four-time Academy Award nominee Ethan Hawke as he marched with his First Nations neighbors. The 44-year-old Hollywood star owns property near here and has been spending summers here for nearly two decades. Thank you. When the people of Back and Deck First Nation asked him to join their cause against offshore oil exploration, he felt honored. I trust this community here to look after the land better than I do the oil companies, so I think we should give them just as loud a voice. A traditional Mi'kmaq water ceremony was held, honoring their relationship with the water, fish, the land, and their resources. Artists considering plans for underwater drilling, about 120 kilometers off Cape Breton. The fear here is what that might do for the fishery throughout the Gulf. Water is our greatest resource. It's what makes this land so special in maritimes. And uh, if you guys don't treat the water with respect, I don't know. Organizers <laughs> admit the star power of Ethan Hawke is a good way to get attention. It just escalates and elevates our issue to a level that we could really never achieve on our own. And what they'd like to achieve is a 12-year moratorium on oil exploration. It's a cautionary approach. It shouldn't be a, way, a race to uh, for oil. It should be a cautionary approach. Let's protect the Gulf. Two billion dollar economy that the Atlantic uh, gets from the, the Gulf of St. Lawrence. It's a message they're hoping is heard by the new federal government. It's one that we can't take for granted, and that uh, call to action today by uh, th through this ceremony I think is very powerful, so uh, I'll, I'll certainly uh, be a, a, a voice on that uh, when we get back to uh, Ottawa. You know, Canada's been a real leader environmentally. Um, for the U.S., you know, we always look to Canada as doing things the right way, and uh, I don't want them to be... <laughs> Stop playing that role. Organizers say the recent election has created a sea of red here in Atlanta, Canada. They're hoping it also represents a sea of change. Dan McIntosh, CTV News, Buckingham Deck, First Nation.